Hey guys. So, another topic I want to talk about today is why you should really put your focus on upgrading your accessories. Um, not like... Well, yeah, you should focus it with everything you can do. You, if you can, pick up the maximum amount from every event. If you can, use all your spirals on accessories, free spirals. You can use some paid spirals as well, but that's really just if you're a big whale. Um, yeah, so why would you focus on, on accessories? Let's just check the stats in general. Or actually, let's just check uh, what the average player has in accessories right now. Let's just take some random player. Accessories 13. Accessories 14. Accessories 11. So, if we compare people now, for example, we, we, we got this player. Um, he has accessories 14. Soon to reach 15. It's really good for the state of the game. Um, and if we compare him to some player, I don't know, I don't know. Accessories 12. Um, and VR is not, not super different. Um, and we see, uh, looking at the accessory levels, we can see how much damage someone does. Um, because if some player is focusing on accessories, they get an insanely big amount of damage boost. So let me just show you the stats. Um, so we go on fire here. This is for all accessories, but really focusing is uh, on fire is very important. If you are DPS, it's really important. So let's check. Um, so we have many people around fire level 12 right now, like average players. So let's uh, see the stats. So we get 1.5k attack and 15% damage. Um, so and now let's compare that for example with level 14, which really good uh, player have right now. It's 5% more damage. And then let's compare for example with me. It gives 26% uh, more damage and even 1000% more. So it's 2000, uh, 2000 attack. And um, wait, how much was it again? And 11% damage increase from having fire, uh, only from this. And then also it's adding the uh, magma flame skill here. We see it increases crit damage. Uh, yeah, crit damage and crit rate. So we have 20% crit damage. And comparing to, for example, 14, uh, 14 already has. 15% uh, crit damage, so uh, the damage increase from, from all the levels is, is very big. For example, um, for example, I want to show in the later levels, we also get um, cohesion and break on the accessories. And cohesion is a very good PvP stat and PvE stat. It's probably the best that you can stack in the game. So we got 50, and 50 cohesion basically is 5% more damage. So you just get from one level upgrade, you get 5% more damage, which is crazy. Um, and also we get here even more attack with every level damage, damage reduction. And yeah, lastly to, to mention in this one is also the meteor. So people who are fire 14, have a very, very high edge above player who are um, below that. Because of the meteor level, first it caps not at 140%, but at 180%. And even though no one right now has this, uh, in the future it's going to be a big difference if people don't upgrade their meteor. Um, I mean, they don't have the crit rate yet. But we also see that the damage calculations for uh, how to say that? 
the damage calculations from level 2 meteor to level 3 meteor change in a way that it ignores the defense of enemies. Yeah, we can see here, it ignores enemy defense by 31%, and this increases by the uh, crit rate. So we see, um, if your crit rate is higher, your ignore defense on this skill will be higher, and on this one you are still limited. So it's a must-have to have Fire 14, at least uh, going to Fire 14 right now. Um, yeah. And also one important thing, guys, you need to try to get good lines for sure on the fire, but don't take some some random lines like plus 10. If you get this plus 10 lines, the accessory is really not not great, um, and you should always refine and always try to get like lines worth um, 15, 14, 13. And if you have already good lines, you can also take 12, but you should try take only the high ones, like for example here 15, 14. 15 and get rid of these other stats and just try to preserve the really good stats um, As you can see here, here's one 12. It's fine. Just need to get rid of the ice one for some 14 or 15 because um, you want to You want to Live for the future a little bit and with accessories They will be a long process to to max to max out and um, so you need to have a good preparation, because if you don't have the good lines, you will limit yourself later in the game. Um, you need, um, if someone wants to know, ask me, I, I have the number just not right now in my head. You need to have a certain amount of um, of firepower in total on the upgrades, so you can be fire 20 conveniently. Um, I have it noted somewhere, but I can't find it right now. Um, so yeah, try to be careful with it. Just take your time. If you got some bad lines, don't take them. Um, yeah, and just try really to focus on the enhancing process because this one is guaranteed. So if you see, when I have this last one to 16, uh, I will get plus five. So if you see, when they all were 15 and just from upgrading everyone one level, I get 25 firepower which is um, first very much and second it's guaranteed if you try to uh, fuse your accessories with jewels it's always like random you can get something really bad or something good it's random and these enhancing progresses are really just guaranteed so when i can manage to get my accessories to plus 18 at some point uh, i will be fire 18 almost, even though I have those really bad wind and ice lines and stuff. So yeah, guys, uh, do your accessories, use your spirals for them, and, and have a nice day.